What's up guys, welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So today we're reviewing the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V11 running shoe. So this is their latest cushioned all-purpose running shoe. So we're gonna test the shoe out, take a look at the specs and see how this shoe compares to other shoes in this very tight competitive market. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And to all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your contribution and support. So let's get this review started. So first things first, we're gonna take a look at the specs of this shoe. So this shoe was released about early February of 2021. The price of this shoe is $150 here in the US. And the shoe weighs at about 9.2 ounces for a size 8.5 in the men's. And it's got an eight millimeter offset with a 30 millimeter in the heel and 22 in the forefoot. And this shoe does come in different sizes. So if you want the standard, there's also a narrow, a wide as well as an extra wide to fit all different types of feet sizes. So this shoe is made up a few important components. You have the synthetic mesh upper on top, which is very stretchy, which is very comfortable. The laces are really very standard. They remind me of kind of Hoka laces, nothing too fancy. Um, also the tongue is a little bit padded. Um, it's like a, it's also a mesh tongue that's kind of like a one piece that's attached to the upper. Uh, nothing fancy there. The design, I think, you know, it's not ugly, but it's pretty, you know, standard for New Balance. So in the back here, they have this kind of ultra heel design, what they call the piece that's kind of separate from the fly knit. It's very stretchy and it's got the elf ear design to get your foot in very easily. Um, it's also, you know, done by other companies like Nike. So it helps, you know, with rubbing in the Achilles area. Um, besides that, there's also a little bit of padding in the back, you know, which is very comfortable. And on the bottom, and here's is the Fresh Foam X Midsole, which is the bread and butter of this shoe. Uh, this foam is very soft, uh, very comfortable, uh, very bouncy, very New Balance-like if you've ever, you know, have, uh, ran in New Balance shoes before. And on the bottom, you have these hexagonal looking grooves for your uh, outsole. Uh, it's got plenty of traction, a lot of grip, and I didn't have any troubles with uh, you know, slipping or anything like that. And it looks like it's gonna be very durable that you can wear a lot of miles in. Uh, so, and then there's also parts of exposed foam on the bottom as well. So first impression of the shoe, um, you know, nothing too crazy about the designs. It's, you know, it's nice and it's a very, you know, the foam on the fresh foam is very New Balance like, so it's very distinguishable as a New Balance shoe. Um, you know, I'm not a big crazy about the elf ear design in the back here. It's definitely very easy to get your foot in. Um, I was just able to pull the tab back and slide my foot in without any problems. Um, on the forefoot area, you know, there's plenty of space for my toe. I think there's a little bit too much room, in my opinion. Um, for your top of your toes. Um, so people with wide feet might not need to get the super wide version. I think I had plenty of room. Um, anything else, you know, the laces, I had some issues with it coming loose, you know, but once I, you know, did the runner's knot or tied it in a double knot, then that fixed that issue. Uh, other than that, the shoe is very comfortable, even for walking around as soon as you pull your foot in, uh, it's comfortable. I mean, but that's like pretty much any other shoe these days. Um, it feels very much like the uh, Nike Infinity Run 2 that, that just came out as well for Nike. Um, however, you know, it's a, I feel that shoe is a little bit more rigid and you feel more locked in on the upper with that shoe. Um, I had some heel slipping in the back, uh, which is a kind of, you know, I don't know, troublesome. I guess it kept bothering me a little bit. Um, I tried you know, thicker socks as well, but, you know, I just had a lot of heel slippage in the back of the shoe. Uh, which can cause a problem. Um, inside the shoe, there's an ortholite uh, insole, which is also very, makes the shoe very comfortable. So first run in the shoe, um, immediately when you put your foot in, it's very comfortable. The ortholite insole is definitely a nice touch for the shoe. It's super easy to put your foot in as well. I didn't have to, you know, really try hard. You just pull the elf ear tab here in the back and your foot just slides right in. But that also is, you know, a concern for me because and while I was running, I did have a lot of heel slippage. So the design and concept is nice, but I feel like the execution is just lacking just a little bit. Um, some people might not have this problem, you know, but I try different socks, like the thicker socks, and still, you know, it was giving me some problems, even if after I tightened the shoe up. 
um, the upper. Otherwise, you know, it was, it was nice, comfortable, nothing super fancy that, you know, stood out to me. It's just a, you know, nice, solid, like everyday, you know, running shoe uh, for people that want to do a lot of mileage in and that want to have a very, you know, comfortable and soft foam, which the fresh foam is definitely uh, very soft. Uh, to run on um, compared to the react phone of nike the fresh foam i believe is just a tad softer uh, so people who would love soft foam might you know really want to get this shoe uh, otherwise in my personal preference i would go with the infinity run 2 for just ten dollars more uh, that shoe i feel more locked in i feel just like more solid and i feel you know with the stiff tiny bit of stiffness it doesn't really bother me so this shoe will definitely provide comfort for your legs and feet for runs um, the fresh foam is super nice and very cushioned. Um, it's for people, you know, who want a recovery shoe as well as a long run shoe. Uh, this shoe will definitely do the job for you. So um, other than that, I don't think there's any really bells or whistles to talk about the shoe. Uh, you know, it's it's just, a, you know, okay. You know, it's a good shoe. Uh, basically, that's it. I don't know how else, to, you know, to describe the shoe. Um, for the price range at $150, it's very competitive. So if you don't want to spend oh, close to $200, on a recovery or soft shoe, this shoe might be a great option. Fans of the 1080 will probably still like the shoe. Nothing much has changed. It's just a well-built, solid, you know, all-purpose, everyday mileage recovery running shoe. So this shoe costs $150, uh, which is kind of on the lower side of all their competitors. Um, I, when I run in this shoe, I definitely think of the Nike Infinity Run 2. I feel like that shoe is probably the closest in terms of how the shoes are on my feet. Um, they both, uh, the Nike has the React foam and this is the Fresh foam. Um, they both are very, um, they're soft, but not as soft as the Invincible Run that I tried on before. Um, they're both, you know, great shoes that I would use for long distance recovery or everyday kind of mileage shoes. Uh, it's not a shoe that I would particularly, you know, wear for a speed or run faster paces runs, although you could definitely use it for that for people that want to. Uh, this shoe is about nine ounces, so it's a little bit on the heavy side. So it's not really, uh, I believe, a shoe that's intended to do like racing in. Um, although, you know, for any of these shoes, you can definitely uh, use it for that. Um, overall, you know, I feel like with this compared to the Infinity Run, which is about $10 more at $160, I feel like that shoe is just a little bit better. Um, the React foam might be a tad stiffer than the, you know, fresh foam in this shoe, but overall, it's not really that noticeable. But I feel like the Infinity Run 2 gives you a more lockdown feeling compared to this shoe where I had a lot of heel slippage. So this shoe is comfortable just like the Infinity Run. Um, these days, all these shoes coming out are so similar that it's super hard to kind of, you know, um, compare or say which one is better. It's going to be really on personal preferences. I did see some reviews of these shoe online. A lot of people say they had trouble with the heel as well and also the laces. So not much has changed since last year's model, but if you want a shoe that's well built and solid and that's a you know, cushion, all purpose shoe that you can use for pretty much anything, um, this shoe is definitely a great option. It also lasts very long and at the price point at 150, it's not too expensive, but it's also not the cheapest, um, but it's definitely a great option out there if you want a, like a cushion recovery long distance shoe. Uh, this is definitely on the top of the list. Um, with similar shoes like the Infinity Run or the Invincible Run. Other than that, yeah, New Balance comes out with the V11 solid well-built shoe. You know, perfect for people that like New Balance or want a cushioned all-purpose running shoe. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you think of this shoe, if you like it or don't like this shoe. And if you guys have any other comments, feedback, or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And I hope you guys are all staying safe and your training's going well. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.